Hi, this is Cheryl Peterson with the Community of Christ Scientist. I'm going to read a Christian Science Bible lesson from the Bible, New International Version, copyrighted by Biblica, and from 21st Century Science and Health with the Key to the Scriptures, a modern version of Mary Big Reddy's Science and Health, copyrighted by Cheryl Peterson. The subject is spiritual tasks. Golden text is from Romans. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. First Chronicles. All Israel was listed in the genealogies recorded in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. They were taken captive to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. Now the first to resettle on their own property in their own towns were some Israelites, priests, Levites, and temple servants. All together, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds numbered 212. They were registered by genealogy in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to their positions of trust by David and Samuel the seer. They and their descendants were in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the Tent of Meeting. Some of them were in charge of the articles used in the temple service. They counted them when they were brought in and when they were taken out. Others were assigned to take care of the furnishings and all the other articles of the sanctuary, as well as the special flour and wine and the olive oil, incense, and spices. But some of the priests took care of mixing the spices. A Levite named Tehemahethophel, the firstborn son of Shalem, the Korhite, was entrusted with the responsibility of baking the offering bread. Some of the Kohoibites had, and their fellow Levites were in charge of preparing for every Sabbath the bread set out on the table. Those who were musicians, heads of Levite families, stayed in the rooms of the temple and were exempt from other duties because they were responsible for the workday and night. 21st Century Science and Health Being is holiness, harmony, immortality. It is already proved that a knowledge of this, even in a small degree, will improve the physical and moral standard of human beings. It will increase longevity and will purify and elevate the character. Progress will finally destroy all error and bring immortality to light. Statements proved to be good must be correct. New thoughts are constantly breaking human laws. The two contradictory theories, that human mind is something, or that all is mind, will fight it out until one is acknowledged the victor. Calling the people to arms, Winston Churchill said, Our task is not only to win the battle, but to win the war. Science says, All is mind and mind's idea. You must fight it out to the end. Matter, human mind, is of no help in this war. Beholding the infinite tasks of truth, we pause, wait on God. Then we make every effort to improve for the better. Spiritualized thought feels creative, free, and inspired, as if touching the divine glory. In order to understand more, we must put into practice what we already know. Truth is provable when understood, and good is not understood until proven. During the sensuous, sensualist age, absolute divine science may not be achieved prior to the change called to death, for we have not the power to demonstrate what we do not understand. The human self must be evangelized. This task God demands us to accept gracefully and to abandon as fast as practical the temporal, and to work out the spiritual, which determines the outward and actual. Character development should be strongly fortified with virtue. It is not so much academic education as ethical and spiritual learning which improves the character. The pure and uplifting thoughts from teachers and instructors 
constantly imparted to pupils, reach higher than the heavens of astronomy. Corrupt and dubious minds, though gifted with scholarly attainment, will degrade the characters it should inform and elevate. Strive to see the whole picture when selecting teachers and speakers. When choosing a teacher, it is imperative to consider the instructor's morality along with their credentials and skill level. The term science, properly understood, refers only to the laws of God and to spirit's government of the universe and us. Business professionals, scholars, and ordinary people have found that divine science increases their perseverance and mental powers. The knowledge of spiritual science expands people's perception of character, gives them alertness, and the ability to be thorough and multitask usefully. The human mind, inspired with spiritual understanding, becomes more resilient and is capable of increased stamina. The human mind can escape somewhat from itself and won't requ require so much sleep. Knowledge of the science of being develops our dormant abilities and potential. Spiritual discernment opens the mind and we attain access to far-reaching and grand realms. We are elevated into our natural state of insightfulness and perspicacity.